You know what its nickname is gonna be? Good luck. That's not a good sign. Hey everyone, my name is Nick. You know girls, I really like him. This is my low buck show I like to call Sunday Driver Rides. Thank you for joining me. It's truly appreciated. This week, we're gonna take a break from the uh, Firebird in the background. I'm gonna show you something I bought, which I think is one of the best purchases I've ever think I've, I've ever made in my life. I mean, it's, it's obvious. It has to be. It is that. Uh, I don't know what year, I don't know what engine size, it is too small for me, but it is still the best purchase I've ever done. The little yellow go-kart. You know what its nickname is gonna be? Good luck, as in, good luck getting this thing running, pal. <laughs> Here we are, I got a go-kart for the kids. Yeah, just the kids, I'm never gonna drive it. Anyway, um, we gotta get this thing running. And then it is, it's small. I mean, I look like 10 pounds of lard in a five pound can on this thing. Uh, maybe later down the line, we'll make it bigger so it fits an adult. But first things first, let's just get this thing running, huh? All right, little backstory on this. I got this from a good friend, Dave. Dave, thank you, appreciate it. Kids love it. Um, I love it. <laughs> That's what matters, right? Anyway, um, it's been sitting for over 10 years. So we gotta look it over. I'm sure it's got bad gas. Ooh, yeah, it smells like a high school gym locker in there. That's bad. Um, so we'll drain this out. There's very little in there. We'll clean up the carb. We might have to buy another carb, who knows. Um, this air cleaner didn't make it. That's okay. We'll check the oil. We gotta drain the oil, we'll drain the oil. And um, it's an electric start. This thing's pretty fancy. It's got hydraulic disc brakes. I mean, come on. This is, this is way fancy. Somebody's honking a horn a lot in the background. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's annoying. I wish they'd shut it up. Anyway, so yeah, let's uh, let's drain gas and let's get it going, huh? Gas disconnected from the carb. Let's see if it comes out. Look at that. Oh, there it goes. All right. So go more. Play with the knob, will it go faster this way? Nope, it'll just shut off. Down, looks like it's gotta be all the way up. All right, we'll let that drain. <laughs> Look at that, no long hair. No hippies allowed. Now I'm gonna get in trouble for saying that one. All right, now that I got the fuel drained out of it, which there wasn't much, which is good, just about got this carb off. There. A simple little guy, huh? We'll take the bowl off, we'll look in there, make sure everything looks clean, and then um, we'll probably just slap it back on and pray it works. All right, now, unlike these, unlike this mountain of carburetors next to me, this little carburetor should be pretty simple. There's our float, you know, let's actually, let's look inside this. Yeah, inside that thing, that actually doesn't look too bad, does it? Yeah, Dave did a good job keeping this thing clean. I appreciate it. We will we'll take this out. You can tell this thing hasn't had gas in it. So what I usually do with these, I take the float out like this. And then if I had gas in the bowl, I'd take my ear up to it. And I'd listen to it to see if there's any gas inside of it, see if this thing is a leaker. But there's really no point because <laughs> there's no gas in it. So, so just by giving it a visual inspection, I think it looks pretty dang clean. I'm going to uh, keep this together so I know how it goes. You don't want to lose any parts. Um, I'm going to take some of these jets out. And then I'm just gonna hit it with some brake cleaner and just blow everything out and pray that it's 
good. I mean, but it does. It looks really clean. So, yeah, look at that. That's gotta be your choke, right? Yep, that's our choke. So, it's free. That's a big deal. All right, let's finish cleaning this out. Get back in. So, like I was talking about the jets, they just unscrew like so. And then you should be able to see all the way through it. And this one, yeah, I can see all the way through it. This one's really good. All right, I actually have some carbon choke cleaner, actually. Usually I don't. I don't know where this came from, but I'm going to use it. Just clean out all my orifices, orifices, and uh, blow it out with the air hose. It is. This thing is so clean. Knock on wood. I'm not worried about any of this. Knock on wood. Good enough. Let's get it back in. All right. I got the car back in. Let's uh, see what the oil looks like, huh? It's there. It just says on top of the engine, use four cycle engine oil. Okay, oh, I guess that, that beauty cap comes off. Okay, whatever. It's got oil in it though. Does it say how I should check it? Sometimes with these, like on uh, small Kawasaki engines, you're not supposed to thread these in. You're only just supposed to put it in and then, and then pull it out and check it. And you're not supposed to thread it in. Um, I have no idea how you're supposed to check this thing. I know nothing about this engine. I don't know what size it is. I, I, I don't know anything. So we're just gonna wing it. It's got oil in it. All right, let's pull the spark plug. See if she's clean, if she's clean, you know, we'll clean it and then just hook a battery up to this thing and cross our fingers, huh? All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, she dirty little plug. Oh, she is. She's a bitty. Look at that little thing. Anyway, we'll just take a wire brush to it, slap it back in, go from there. All right. Now I got the spark plug back in, carburetor on. Uh, it's got oil in it. Time to figure out this if this thing can crank over. Now these things originally came with those little dinky batteries. You know, it's only like those little lawnmower batteries. They're a joke and they're expensive, you know? And so Dave told me, he goes, honestly, I just ran a car battery right up top here. So that's why the wires are up here. So let's uh, see what I got for a car battery, huh? <laughs> think the battery of the Firebird will work? I think it will. There, that should work, huh? All right, we got gas, we got oil, we got a clean spark plug. You got a horn? <laughs> Best horn ever. <laughs> so we got power. Let's uh, choke it. Just see what happens, huh? Starting fluid and brake clean. Yeah, this is flammable. Let's see if this works, huh? Just a little. I should want to go. What it? not look oh I had it choked dang it I totally flooded this thing oh you fool of it I 
I might as well pull the spark plug now and clean it. Dang it. Yeah, look at that. Maybe you can't tell, but it is. It's sopping wet. <laughs> that wave flooded it. All right, let's dry it out and try again. All right, I blew up that spark plug. You can put a little air in the cylinder just to dry it out a little bit. Let's try again. Which way is choke? Yep, yeah, we're good. Just don't even choke in there. Now it's okay. Dang it. I don't like you right now. See if she's getting spark, huh? I just pulled the spark plug and I think I got a little carried away with it. See that? There's like no gap. I must have just bumped it because there's no way that I can't imagine something got in there and did that. That must have just been me going too fast. I'll regap it quick and try it again. Dang it, Nick. All right, now that we got it gapped, I'm going to check for spark. I'm just going to ground this out. See what I got. I got nothing. Look at that. No wonder she don't want to go. She just died. No wonder she don't want to go. I got no spark. All right. Let's keep digging. I think I just found it. The coil was unplugged here. Let's try it again. Oh, lots of spark. Lots of spark. Cool. I love it when I find easy fixes like that. Let's get this thing back in and try again. All right, folks. Cross your fingers. Let's see what we can do, huh? No choke. Let's just see what happens. But what do you know? It works. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That thing burns. Oh, she wants to go. I can't hit it too hard. If she wants to move. Oh, she didn't like that thing. I'm just gonna let her warm up maybe for a minute. Maybe let's go for a ride. I know brakes work. Yeah, brakes work. Yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> All right, this thing is not meant for an adult, but we're gonna squeeze in here. Okay, okay. All right, all right. All right, let's see what happens, huh? Go, this is going, let's go. Oh, and I killed it. Huh. Oh, great. Honestly, I've been driving around the neighborhood quite a bit and uh, had a number of neighbors looking at me. And when I've done stuff like that in the past, sometimes I've pushed it a little too far and I get a little look. And I didn't want to do that this time. So I'm trying to behave, I put it away. So before authorities arrive. Anyway, um, but it's fun. It's a fun little thing. But that's just it. It's little. You know, my head 
as you could see earlier, sticks out the top of the thing. <laughs> if I rolled that thing, I'd be a hurting unit. So I think eventually we'll make it, you know, the cage taller just because of the fact that it's it's just too short. Even my youngest, when he sits in it, he's like right at the cusp. It's like, okay, it's we got to make this thing a little taller. So in case, God forbid, we ever do roll it. So, but yeah, we'll we'll do that later down the line so but i got it running that's cool i mean i just got it tonight and i got it running already it's like awesome so and i had a little fun with it so good times right but um you know what i think we're gonna call that an episode uh thank you for watching i sure do appreciate it if you could like subscribe all that fun stuff oh it'd be appreciated so thanks again go out and have some fun of your own take care